Okay, you are for next. Look, we're back at that house, uh, my cousin's house. What, what you call it? The Bressica. The Bressica. <laughs> we're back at the house, and look, guys, we're here to look at the yard. And this has been almost a month after we did the Oversea um, and the uh, Sunnyland All Natural Product. Okay. Product, and we got some serious results. All right, so let's let's check that out real quick. Okay guys, look, I, I'm just gonna give you a quick walk around and you, you see it guys. This thing is freaking awesome. All right, and this is roughly a month after. We still got some growing to go, grow, to go, I meant to say. But you can see how it looks so far. And like I said, I'm not gonna make it a super long video. And the reason we're here today, we're gonna reapply some more sunny land uh, all natural and we're going to use a Sunnyland 12 um, Devil O with uh, a little bit over six percent iron on it all right but I want to ask my cousin you know what are the challenges with this with this yard okay Brett now what's what's the main challenges I mean I, I see you got a lot of leaves on the yard okay that's been my biggest challenge uh, to try to keep the leaves Mm -hmm. off the yard but just being a regular homeowner and having to go to work that's that's really been my, my biggest challenge so, um so how often are you deep blowing these leaves i mean i'm blowing them every opportunity uh i get um right now i got about a uh, about four to five days worth of leaves over there now okay so based on my tree and you said now what was that again uh, based on my trees, I still got some time to go, but I got about four or five days worth of uh, leaves on here now. Okay, you see all those trees you got. You got trees everywhere. Everywhere. All right, and you say how many days? This is about four or five days worth of leaves and pine straw too, right? Yeah, leaves and pine straw. And uh, I don't know what uh, kind of leaves those are, but yeah, I got those and, and, and they lay into the grass. Okay, guys. So, guys, basically what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and blow this stuff off of it. We're going to give it a nice little trim with his um, Hasbana lawnmower. And then we'll come back and apply the Sunnyland, and we'll do the uh, Sunnyland All Natural, and then we'll do the Sunnyland um, 1200. Okay, guys. And look, that's, that's the original bag he had right there. All right. And I brought another bag just in case. And here are the two Sunnyland products that I was talking about real quick. One of them is a, okay, one of them is the Sunnyland Professional um, Miner's Blend. And guys, if you look real closely, you can see what the Miner's Blend is right there. Okay, it has all those micro nutrients right there. But actually, I'm gonna use this one right here. The Sunnyland 12 Double O um, Blend Liquid Fertilizer. And the reason I wanna go with this, guys, because it has 12% nitrogen and I'm more concerned with that 6% iron right there. And the reason I'm more concerned with it is I want this thing to have a darker green to it. I'll use the miner's blend probably later on as a maintenance, but I'm not gonna use it at this very moment because I'm using the all natural. All right, now all natural is a bio solid and we're gonna get a lot of natural micronutrients already, all right? So our first step is we got to go ahead and blow this thing off and um, get all of these leaves off this um, lawn, and then we'll go from there. So let me go ahead, and both of us will blow. I use the BR600, and he uses Echo handheld blower.
Okay guys, look, we went ahead and we blew it. I just want you guys to see what it looks like. It's awesome. It's awesome. All right, like I said, what he's about to do now is to go ahead and cut it. And um, we're gonna cut it at an inch and a half. All right, and the reason he's going, it's right now it's at two, we're cutting, well, I think it's at two and a half. We're cutting it at an inch and a, no, it's at two. We're cutting it at an inch and a half uh, because we got a party that's gonna be going on back here, so. land um, all natural and like I said guys you know it's a strong smell of success so though like I said don't go into it thinking that it's gonna smell sweet but guys one bag is is covers 2,500 square feet all right we measured this yard and this yard is roughly 4,000 square feet all right so we used a little a third of a bag and, uh, and a whole bag on this on this backyard part right here so I'll go ahead and let him put that down and and like i said i could can we smell it we can smell we it, can, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> can you smell what the rock is cooking i'm here to tell you man but yeah go ahead and knock that out um guys like i said i'm just gonna walk with him and let you see it yeah and oh, uh, if you hadn't noticed, guys, he's using my um, um, Scott's um, Deluxe D DLX. And um, you like this a lot better than you like the other one, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he likes this one a whole lot better than he likes the other one. And I, I must admit, I'm, I'm going to stand back. Now, with this old one, how many passes you said you made? About 12? Uh, 12. Made about 12 passes. All right, now we've moved over to the DLX um, R, and I think we're at five passes. Five passes. How long this took? About. No time. Yeah, about eight minutes. About eight minutes to do the whole freaking yard, whereas it took a little bit about 15, 20 minutes with that little mini. The mini is okay, guys. But when you start going 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 square feet, you gotta step it up. All right. Okay, guys, look, we're trying to go ahead and get this thing done real quick before uh, we lose our sunlight because we're on daylight saving time here. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, like I said, we're going with the Sunnyland 1200 blend. All right. And according to the directions, and let me see if I can zoom in here. We need to do three to four ounces per 1,000 square feet. All right. Now, I got some tricks that I use to water it in. If we're going to do the backpack sprayer, this is the Chapin Battery Powered Backpack Sprayer. I'm gonna put two gallons of water in here, even though it holds four, because I don't want it to get heavy. So I'm gonna add eight ounces of the Sunnyland product to that right there, which is four ounces per one gallon of water per 1,000 square feet. So I'm gonna do 2,000 square feet with this pump sprayer. And actually, that's gonna cover half the lawn, because the lawn is a little bit over 4,000 square feet, but we're just gonna round it off 4,000 square feet. One of the other tricks is this. Guys, this is for homeowners. Now you can you look on the side, you can see this thing has ounces on the side. So let's just say I put uh, 4,000 square feet, four ounces, that's 16 ounces. I could put 16 ounces in here and 
sprayed the entire yard with this. Now the benefit of doing it this way, I'm actually watering in as I'm applying it. Versus with that, I'm just applying it to the grass and it'll still need to be watered in. All right, now this is a little trick I found out for myself. This is a four ounce container and it connects to the water hose. So four ounces covers 1,000 square feet. So if I measure off 1,000 square feet on this lawn and spray the four ounces with this, with the water hose, I'm applying and watering in at the same time. All right, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and use this chafing first on 2,000 square feet. So let's go ahead and get that set. Okay, Yara Fernandez, look, you see that cylinder right there? That's four ounces, all right? I'm going, we're gonna fill that up with the Sunnyland 12 double O, and we're gonna put it in that chafing sprayer, but <clears throat> by it being so small, it's kinda, kinda hard to do. So, you gonna have to pull that knob up. All right, all right. There you go. Hope you guys like that little elevator music we had going on. <laughs> All right. Our next step is to put that in the chafing spray. Okay, guys, he's going to pour it in there. Remember, we got to put eight ounces in this because it's two gallons. And you, that bluish color is a dye that I had a little bit left. So we did that once. All right, now we got to do it again. Okay, and this is the second four ounces. Total of eight and two gallons of water. Remember, that's four ounces per one gallon of water per 1,000 square feet. So I'll measure off 2,000 square feet, and we're going to treat that with the pump sprayer, and we're going to do it evenly. Guys, look, we got that in there. First thing you need to do is agitate this thing now. Go ahead and agitate it. You want to check for leaks while you're agitating it. You know, I see a few up at the top, so we'll wipe them off tighten that lid up a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and set up the spray Freshly. okay guys he he has the uh turn around let me see the back of it real quick Freshly. like i said that's the chaping and i got some marker dye in it and guys he asked me what was the blue dye for the blue dye is just kind of to show you where you spray i don't have a surfactant in this i don't want a surfactant in this some guys use a surfactant when they put down a uh, liquid fertilizer i don't because i believe that it's going to feed through the leaves anyway but you want it to get into the soil by watering it down and i don't want anything to slow that up so i'm gonna go ahead and you see down there where i have that that um wheel down there we actually marked off a 40 by 50 area 2,000 square feet and the 2,000 square feet is what this chaping backpack spur is supposed to cover so i'm gonna go ahead and let him start and this is one technique so you can go ahead and start And like I said, once you got it, go ahead and flip that locking switch. Wind is kind of blowing. Yeah. If it's windy, you're going to have to get closer to the ground. And make sure you get all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge of the grass. And like I said, I'm not going to walk in it. Well, I'll step over it. But you can kind of see what's a little darker with that, that dye. So we'll go ahead and see how long this takes. It's 445 now, and we'll see how it, it works out. So better than the pump spray. Yeah. Now, if you pay attention, guys, how he's spraying it, it's okay to do it like that. Me personally, I don't like to walk in the stuff that I'm spraying. So I'm, I'll show you the other technique real quick once you get to the end. And the other technique is called sidewalking. So check it out. All right, so I just, just gave him a little course on sidewalking. So now he's going to sidewalk this. Like I said, make sure you evenly, evenly cover it. That's that pump making that noise. You know, people have been saying this thing is gonna leak. I hadn't had any problems out of it. I've used it about, 
uh, I want to say this is probably about the sixth time. So I hadn't had any problems out of this uh, pump sprayer. Um, it's the battery. And I think this is the 20 volt. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 20 volt rechargeable. All right. So I'll let him go ahead and finish that up. And uh, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, you see. And he's going to switch. And actually run it, put it behind your back. And then swap hands like that. That way you don't you don't feel awkward. That's the that's one of the awesome things about having that connection on the back of it, because you can either do it right-handed or left-handed. And like I said, it's two gallons supposed to do this, so either he gonna have to walk it twice, or you have to go real slow to make sure that a lot of it come out. So more than likely going to walk this area two times, all right? Okay, you are fanatics. He did two passes and look, right down. I mean, it's, it's, it's done. And look where we finished at, literally. All right, so that did 2,000 square feet. Um, like I said, guys, you just gotta get used to doing that. Let me show you the other way real quick. Gotta make it quick, cause I gotta beat this uh, sunlight. So okay, guys, it. like I said, we got the second one here. Uh, four ounces, 1,000 square feet. Now we're gonna actually use more than a gallon of water with this application. So you send my water in at the same time when you're using this method. All right, now the other method, he's gonna have to put the sprinkler hose on, the sprinkler um, spigot and water that joker in. And you know, directions say water to run off Remember this guys, when you're using these products, make sure that you water your lawn 24 to 48 hours before you put down any product, any fertilizer, any liquid fertilizer. You know that. Yeah. Yard has to be moisture in the soil. What that does, that helps those roots uptake that chemical a whole lot more faster than you trying to water it in to dry soil and you lose some of the potency. You no, know, it's like hydration. You know, if you get ready to run a marathon, you don't go drinking Gatorade in the middle of the race. <laughs> you gotta hydrate up. You gotta have it in you before you even start doing any strenuous things. Yeah, it's, you can do it a little bit slower when you change that dial, so you can walk at a different pace. Yeah. Therefore, you can get more water into the uh, and more water into the um, soil. So you get you more watered in more like this. Now I will say this, guys. Us <laughs> putting this water down, it has activated that <laughs> sunny land all natural, boy. <laughs> it is activated. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, it's activated. It's activated. It's activated. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Activation has been. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll let him finish watering that in, and we're pretty much coming to the end of this like video. This yeah, that is, that is pretty awesome. This probably the best way. That's the best way, the fastest way, I would say. If you're a homeowner, this is the Yeah, if you're the homeowner, it's okay, pump sprayer, let's get to it. I paid, paid, I think that pump sprayer was like a hundred bucks. I got it on sale, 75. Um, that one end sprayer right there, I picked it up at Walmart for about 10 bucks. So I'll let you choose. Average homeowner, go get that. You can contact Sunnyland. I'll put the number down here at the bottom and talk to them about that. Uh, Miners Blend and the uh, 12 00, 12 12-0-0. And um, those guys can give you more information about those products. All right, I'll also leave a link in the description to the Sunnyland website. Remember guys, this video has been sponsored by Sunnyland. They trust BYD to show the average homeowner how that product works. And um, I've used their products way before any type of sponsorship was about. And um, really got interested in it. Uh, special shout out to Lee Moore reaching out to BYD. 
and we want to see how this product turns out now like i said i'll be back again in probably another month well it won't even be a month it may be probably two weeks from now just to get an idea and like i said he's getting his prepping his yard for his um barn fire that he normally has yearly and like i said we blew all those leaves over here you saw that earlier in the video all right probably gonna set them on fire but um yeah I like this little tool here. Oh, yeah. That's like three tools in one. Yes, it is. You use it to wash your car. You can use it to water your yard and everything. All right, I'm about to water the here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I get with you. Okay, yard fanatics. So we use the Sunny Land All Natural, um, which is similar to Milorganite. Some people call it a Milorganite clone, but it's a very similar product a more success smell um, with great results all right the second product we used was the Sunnyland 1200 um, you have to apply that three to four ounces per 1,000 square feet uh, per gallon of water um, if you apply it the second way you saw us do it you can get more in it's gonna be more than a gallon but you're actually watering it in as you're applying it. if you use a backpack sprayer once you apply it that way, you will still need to water this product in. Make sure that you water your lawn 24 to 48 hours before you apply this product. And like I said, we, we did a um, Sunnyland all natural application in October, in October, October 27th. Um, what he noticed, he said it seemed like it grew in a little bit faster and it had a sheen to it, a shine, a glossiness look to it. All right, so I just can't, I can't wait to see what this is going to look like in about two more weeks. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscription button. Ding, that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Once again, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.